Hi guys, it is Chris, back in my cider shed with another cider to try. But it's not, it's not a cider, it's a Perry. It's a Perry. Newton Court Perry. So we had a Newton Court the other day. Um, it was called Gasping Goose, I believe. And we liked it. Gentle, ripped, round, very pleasing. Uh, this is a Perry though, so we're going to try their Perry. Anything on the back. Perry is the rarest of drinks. I mean, it was, it's getting more fashionable now. A drink shrouded in mystique and myth. These old pear varieties have an evocative, have evocative names such as Winnells Longdon, Hendry Hofkat and Butt and are unique to Herefordshire and its surrounds. This, uh, this slightly sparkling 100% fresh pressed perry has aromas of elderflower and lychee which leads on to intense juicy stone fruit characters and a gentle yet complex mouth drying sensation. So he's right, uh, Winnells Longdon. We've had some of that on the show. The show, it's not a show, it's mean living shed. Uh, we've had some of that in the shed. Uh, Winnells Longdon, Henry Hofkap, and Butt. All of those things we've had in various guises from various producers. Ross and Y, Greg's Pit, Butford Organics, to name but a few. Yeah, cool. If it's got those in there, good stuff. We're going to be happy. Let's open it up. Let's open it up. What's the ABV? I don't know, Chris. Tell me. Okay, it's 5.3. A very accessible 5.3, that's good, isn't it? Right, as always, oh, there's your little diagram on the back again, your little uh, information thing there. So you've got sharp, tannin and sweet. It's pretty much the same as the last one. Pretty much halfway house on all of them. Yeah, there you go, let's pour it out. So as always, it's, as it's a perry, much lighter in colour. You get some slightly darker perries. Uh, flaky bark from... Ross and White, that was a much richer, darker perry. And I think actually the Cummatic, Betty Prosser, that's got a bit more colour to it as well. But generally speaking, they're going to be this kind of light, bright hue. Nice little head on that, isn't it? Just maintaining it. Some nice fine bubbles rising up there. Let's see how fizzy it is. Um, I think the last one I thought it was too fizzy, but actually, after the fizz went down a bit, I started to enjoy it a lot more. I got some warmth in it, it lost some of its CO2. I started getting more flavours out of it, and I preferred it, you know, about maybe 15 minutes after I'd opened it, and it had warmed up. There you go. These things happen. So there you go, that's the colour. Very light, very light. I mean, barely gold. Very pale gold, if anything. Let's smell it. Bright, possibly filled. It doesn't say. I'm going to guess it is because it's so bright. Hmm. But it smells like a perry. Nice, rich, round, ripe perry is what it smells like. And it has got some like floral hints to it. Ah, and I would go with elderflower. I think that is accurate. That is bang on the money, I would say. Lychee, mm, yeah, possibly. I'm getting a slight funky thing, and I think that's, and it smells a little bit lychee-ish. That funk I'm getting has got a little hit of lychee about it, which I never associated the tea before, but I think that's accurate as well. Every day's a school day, learning all the time. Yeah, round, pleasant, peri, peri nose. Let's try it. Decent acidity, which is nice. Sometimes you lack that in peri pears. Um, but actually, they're quite acid things, but sometimes they find it. Sometimes they could do with a little more acidity. I know that um, Nigel Stewart at Bridge Farm adds a little bit of apple juice to his peri, just to give it a little more zip of acidity, so it's not so flabby. I know he does that. So I know it's something that can, but obviously it depends on the varietals. I mean, the, the Aurora 2018 from Buffalo Gun, it's got amazing, amazing like sherbet like acidity, it's brilliant. And also the yellow hoofcap from Ross and White. Sucks him talking nonsense. Loads of perries have got acidity. <laughs> I take that back. Rewind. Yeah, a little bit funkiness. And it's good, I think. Again, again. Overcarbonated, I think. It's just a bit too much. Just a hair too much. Knock, you knock that back by about 20-30%, I reckon. And you get more contact in your tongue with juice rather than CO2 bubbles. Which is a little bit too aggressive. It's almost like drinking pop, you know, and I'm not sure. Yeah, it's just too much. Just a little bit too much. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. It reminds me of like lemonade we used to get as a kid. I used to get it delivered on a truck. Uh, up the, you come up the street and deliver pop. It reminds me of that. 
Might be a little bit of lemonade, this actually. No, I've said that. It does remind me of lemonade. It does. If you like Perry, you want something nice and easy to drink. This will do the job. This will do the job. Um, it's not blowing my socks off. It's not. I find that actually, now I'm drinking it, there's quite a lot of sweetness, which is probably sorbitol rather than sugar. So that's just natural sweetness from the pears. Um, so that's just, it is what it is, you know. However, I think it needs a little bit more acidity just to, just to counterbalance that sweetness. And I also think that uh, because it's quite rich and sweet, I don't know, actually, uh, the, the bubbles actually t take away from the sweetness a little bit. So actually now I'm appreciating them a bit. I'm just appreciating them a bit because actually when the bubbles fade, it's becomes a little, a little bit cloying, just a hint where acidity would balance that out. But still a solid perry. It's a solid perry. It's made for some great varietals, you know. So there you go. Okay, cool. That was Newton Court. Panting partridge. You know what that means? Uh, yeah, there you go. Was it painting? No, no. Painting partridge? That would be better. A painting partridge. A panting partridge. Panting partridge. I see they're going for um, alliteration in their, uh, in their names of their um, gasping goose. What else have you got? Panting partridge. Can't remember what's the other ones that they've got. Let's look out for those. Let's see how alliterative they can get with their... Uh, with their cider and perry names. All right, I'm going to go. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. Join me again, please. And until then, cheers.